In this video, I'm going to review how to set up your Windows tablet for success and easeability so that you can use the Hilti software as conveniently as possible. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can ensure that all the view settings are set to a way that is not zoomed in too much and that you can see everything clearly. And that's actually by going to the settings icon down here at the bottom left. And when you go to the settings icon, you're going to go ahead and go to the home button and go to your display. In the display, I recommend that you have your zoom here, the change the size of text, apps, and other items. Set that down to 100%. Sometimes I've seen it where it comes loaded in at 125. It says it's the recommended setting, but if I show you what that looks like with the software, you'll notice that it looks all skawampus. So there's some things that are cut off over here when it's set like that. So just make sure you avoid all that by going ahead and uh, in your settings, simply go ahead and set that down to 100 and you'll notice that everything is going to look fine after you set that down to 100. So that's step one. Step two has to deal with how to make sure that you are getting the best battery output on your tablet and there's a few ways you can do this. I know a lot of people have different methods of this. If you're an experienced tablet user or Windows user you can essentially use the same methods that you've used before but I'll show you a couple of things that I've done. The first thing is to go to the bottom right hand corner of the tablet and tap this little text icon and it's going to open up your settings. Now if you don't see all of these settings, go ahead and press the expand button right here so you can see all these basic settings right here. And what I recommend you do is go ahead and click on airplane mode if you can. Uh, when you go into airplane mode, you can still go back and turn on your Bluetooth if you need the Bluetooth if you're using the POS 180 so you can connect your radio bridge. And you can also go ahead and go ahead and turn on your Wi-Fi uh, again if you need to. But going into airplane mode is always a good way to just ensure that you're not, your tablet is not emitting or receiving extra signals that you don't need. I would also recommend that you turn your location off unless you realize down the road you want to use GPX functions that the Hilti software allows you to use. But for now, especially when you're beginning, I would actually go ahead and just turn that off until you know you need the GPS functions of the Hilti software, which I can review in the settings later. The third thing is to make sure that you are in tablet mode. Um, you can obviously work with the tool in desktop mode, which looks like this. It looks like a normal desktop, but there's not a keyboard that you're going to be using with this that's external. So I would just go ahead and keep this in tablet mode and make sure that the rotation is locked so that when you spin the tablet, it's not going into vertical mode or anything like that. You can always see it in horizontal mode. Now, the fourth thing is to go ahead and turn on your Wi-Fi if you're going to be using the PLT300 or if you're using the POS 180, keep the Wi-Fi turned off and only turn on Bluetooth. I find it's better for the tablet if you only have one of these turned on at a time because they're not intermingling with their signals. Obviously, yes, the tool will still work with both of them turned on. It's worked fine for me in the past, but I have noticed that if I've ever run into signal problems or connection problems, isolating the signal to only Bluetooth or only Wi-Fi has helped me in the past. So again, if you're using the PLT300, turn on your Wi-Fi. If you're using the POS 180, go ahead and use your Bluetooth. And to turn on Wi-Fi, you just simply click on this icon and it's going to lead you automatically to this Wi-Fi screen where you can either turn on or off the Wi-Fi here, go ahead and turn airplane mode on or off if you need to, etc. And although I go into it in another video where you connect the radio bridge via Bluetooth, when you want to get into Bluetooth, you click this icon to turn it on and then you can right click it or long press it with your finger and release to go to the Bluetooth settings to make sure that your Bluetooth is working with whatever you need to work with. But for now, I'll go ahead and turn Bluetooth off. Now, the final thing is not essential to do, but it's something I find really helps, and it has to deal with Windows updates. The Windows updates do take a while to be completed on this tablet. If you ever run into Windows updates, what happens is it goes blue screen and it stays blue screen until it completes the update, which I found has taken one to two hours to complete. I think the tablet's broken, I'm getting all worried, but in, in reality, I just need to be patient for it to finish. I need to talk about Windows updates uh, so that you don't run into some problems that I've run into. The first thing is to go to your settings again. Go ahead and go to the home settings and we're gonna go to update and security. And in update and security, we're gonna go to this Windows update. Now in Windows Update, you need to make sure that you go to your advanced options and go ahead and say choose how updates are delivered. This is the first step. Make sure that you are not 
receiving updates from more than one place. I have found that this has helped me to avoid some random updates at times. I always keep this turned off. That's step one. Step two is when you go to your update status, make sure your active hours are set to hours that you're working. So I have set mine to 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And what this does is it will make sure that the tablet will not run updates within this time frame, so that you're safe to work. And if it does run an update by happenstance, it's not hopefully not going to run during your active hours. So make sure you come in here and you set this to when you don't want the updates to run and you should be good to go. And the third thing, this is one that might sound a little bit strange, but I find really helps me, is when I go to my network and I find the Wi-Fi network that I use with my tablet, whether that's my home network when I take it home, my office network when I take it to the office, I make sure that when I am on Wi-Fi, that the tool assumes that this is a metered connection because a metered connection is basically a cellular connection. The Windows tablet by default will not update unless you verify that it can update on a metered connection. So what I do is I come down to this manage known networks button and I go ahead and click on the one that it's been connected to before and I say properties and I go ahead and say that this is a metered connection down here at the bottom. I say yes, set it as a metered connection. So for any um, network that you have connected to on your tablet, you can go to the properties of each and say set as metered connection and the tablet will then recognize it as a metered connection. And when you go to do the updates, it will ask you to make sure that you are ready to go on a metered connection. So if I went to go at update security and I was to run these updates, it would ask me to verify that it's ready to go. So that's about it. That should get you set up on the Windows tablet. I have more videos to come on how to set up the Panasonic settings and the Hilti settings, but I'll save them for another video. But I think that should help you.